Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful crystals and seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And uh, you could also like, share, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are 6 by 4 millimeter crystals or fast, uh, faceted crystals or also called rondelles. I'm using 8 all beads in two colors, red and silver, and I use 11 all seed beads also in red and silver. Here I use lobster claw clasp and a jump ring. And here what I use is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and I use size tank beading needle and scissors. Now I will put about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be Okay guys and now I will take four rondelles on my needle. Okay and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and I will make a knot by making a loop and go once and go second time through the loop I made and I'm pulling and then I will make one more knot. This makes my work really secure, okay? And now I have this. Okay, then I will go in one of my rondelles and pull. Now I'm going to take one seed bead, uh, sorry, one eight oh bead in this beautiful silver color, and I'm going here. Then one more. Go in my next rondelle. Then one more. and take the last fourth one okay and here as I'm exiting from this rondelle what I want to take is one red bead and I will go in my opposite rondelle in the same direction where my thread is pointing to and I'm going to pull and when I pull I have this okay so now what I do is that I go in my next silver bead and I'm going to take three seed beads like this and I'm going here in this silver bead and pulling I'm going around in circle like this. Then what I do is that I go in my next rondelle and my goal is to exit out of my next silver. Exiting out of my next silver, I'm going to take three seed beads and I will go back in circle through this silver and I'm pulling. And then I will go in my next rondelle and exit out of my next silver. Okay. Now I have this. Take three more seed beads in red color. Go back in circle through this silver like this. And if you can, go in the next silver. Okay. Then I'm going to take three more red beads like this and I will go back 
and exit here in my silver and then here in these red beads okay okay and here what I'm going to take are two silver beads then I'm going to take my clasp like this slide it down and I will take two more seed beads like this and I'm going here through this red one and pull and then I'm going to reinforce this Pay attention how I put my clasp in this direction because this is the front part of my work and this is the back part. Okay. Now I'm doing the last reinforcement. And now my goal is to exit here at the end of this element where I will show you how I'm starting my next element. Okay. Now here this is what I have. And I'm going inside this red bead and from here I will start my next one. Okay. And for my next element, I need a red bead, a silver bead and a red bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going here around in circle through those two beads. Then I'm going to reinforce this one more time. Okay. So now I have this. This element I'm starting from the edge and not from the middle like I did before. Okay, and here what I need are four of these beautiful rondelles. Okay, I have my four here. And I'm going back in circle through this silver one. Pulling. And what I want to do here is reinforce one more time. Okay, now I have this and from here on it's easy. I will take one silver then one more and here I need one more and now as I'm here in one of my crystals like this I'm going to take one ato, red ato and I will go in my opposite crystal and in the same direction where my thread is originally pointing to and pull. Then what I do is that I continue with my work the same way. Take three seed beads, go here around this silver like that and I'm exiting in my next crystal then I will go here in my crystal and I'm going to add three more red beads go here inside my work and exit out of the last silver And I'm adding these three red beads.
now this is what I have and I'm going here inside and I will make more and more elements and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have I made more and more elements and do as many as you want and now I'm going to finish my bracelet and in order to do this I will take five of these beautiful 11 0 seed beads and I'm taking my drum ring here okay and what I do is that I go here in circle and now I'm going to reinforce my work like I showed you before okay and now guys when I'm ready reinforcing I will make a knot and I will cut my thread okay and I will choose a place to make a knot let's say here and I'm making a loop here I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and then I will go in my next bit I will cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready. okay guys and now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and i'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.